Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to do a much requested video. I get variants of the question, uh, what types of blasters do I like to use for HVZ? And to answer that, uh, I use a lot of different things actually. And I thought it'd be cool to sort of do like a uh, arsenal type video where I uh, show you a lot of the different blasters I use. Not so much the gear. I plan on doing uh, specific loadout videos because there are like blasters that I like to use with certain gear. And depending on the type of mission that's being run, I do vary my loadout, so I might do separate videos on that. But in this video, I'm going to go over more of the arsenal and a lot of the blasters that I like to use. This is sort of a 2.0 video. I did like a uh, original loadout video, uh, arsenal type video, where I just had like the strife and one hammer shot about a year or two ago. And this is sort of a follow-up. Uh, my arsenal for HVZ is always changing. There's always new blasters coming out. I'm always modding more stuff. And uh, depending on how I'm feeling, especially, I might run some different things. So, uh, this is basically what I have right now, and I'm going to jump right into it. I'm a big fan of this particular blaster, just because it sort of does everything. Uh, it has a few painted attachments, normally I don't run it like this. Uh, I normally don't run the hand grip or the sight, uh, just the stock, and then some 18 clips. But uh, this is how I normally display it on my uh, armory wall, uh, not the one behind me. There's another set of pegboard in the basement that I normally hang all my blasters on. But uh, Basically, this is sort of like, you know, my bread and butter uh, every day, like, you know, standard runner blaster, just because it does a little bit of everything. The motors are pretty nice, uh, it has a pretty decent rev time, and it performs pretty well. Uh, it's a, you know, flywheel blaster that's mag-fed. Very reliable, uh, hasn't really jammed on me. It's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it. It's a relatively basic blaster uh, in terms of the things that are possible, but uh, it gets the job done, and it looks pretty sweet. Okay, so now that I got the main one out of the way, I can sort of cruise through some of the other ones. I like to run the uh, Pulse Rifle Stry Shot. It is probably the uh, new most used blaster, just because it has the super cool LEDs in the front. But basically it's a strife and a long shot shell with a uh, front grip and then some LEDs all strewn about. Uh, I really like this one. It's sort of probably the coolest blaster I've made in a while. Um, that's just because it has the integration and it's... It, it came out really well, in my opinion. Uh, it's a little, a little f few details that I probably would have improved on, just because I did this in a week over spring break for uh, that spring HBZ game, and a uh, few details could have been a bit better, but for the most part, I am very happy with how this blaster came out. Uh, performs pretty well, about somewhere in, uh, you know, FPS readings to the other Strife, just because it has the same motor setup, but uh, that's... Pretty, it's basically the same uh, in terms of internal performance as the uh, other Strife, but I do like to you know run my flywheel blasters as primary, so this is sort of the uh, one I've been swapping out for quite a bit, just because it's a bit flashier and it's kind of shiny and it really you know it's kind of an attention grabber and I like uh, showing off sometimes, so I've been using this one quite a bit. Okay, so going into some more situational things after my two basically main blasters, I have the uh, Strife Crossfire uh, Bow integration, which is basically just a crossbow that shoots nerf darts. Uh, it's also, you know, MagFet Flywheel Blaster, same motor setup as the other ones that I like to do, just because, like I mentioned a few times, it does shoot right where I need it to, so I've been using that motor setup in quite a few blasters. Uh, basically, I took the stock off just so it fit in the frame a bit better, but it's just a strof, strife crossfire bow integration, and uh, it's pretty fun. I really like how the uh, red switch is up here. If I ever open it again, I'll put the one uh, back here to make it useful again, just so that you know you have two options. You could potentially one hand with this, which is the only downfall of this blaster right now, but I do think it is extremely comfortable just having that forward grip would be the rev trigger, and it's pretty nice. Uh, I've used this one out to like some invitationals and stuff, but I don't really use it for the main uh, HVZ because it's like impossible to clear the barrel if it jams. Normally I feed good darts into it, like pretty new darts into it, but uh, if you're scavenging it makes it kind of difficult because I've had darts like bend about halfway down the tube and just get stuck and if you don't have like, it's about 13 inches of dead space, so if you don't have like a ramrod or something, it's really basically impossible. It took me like 20 minutes to get that jam out. So I don't really use this as often, just because if you're scavenging for darts, it really uh, can be a bit picky with the darts that it uses. Now this may surprise some people, but I actually have been running a uh, Mega Blaster 
in uh, the last HBZ game I played. I ran this for pretty much the entire week up until Extraction, just because it was about, uh, I think it was like three, 400 person game. So it wasn't super big, but the zombies really didn't get uh, a lot of numbers until the very end. So this blaster was actually uh, pretty fun to use. I bought a bunch of uh, knockoff uh, mega darts from China, and about so I have about 200 mega darts now. And if you can feed the Roto Fury, it's pretty awesome. Like I just had a dump pouch with a bunch of mega darts in it, and then I was just slam firing and just unloading into people. At uh, very close ranges in a group scenario, I think this blaster is really awesome uh, because I wouldn't want to run it if I was a solo player just because of the low ammo capacity and, you know, it's not clip fed so you can't just like insta reload. But uh, in a group scenario, this thing shoots really straight at close ranges, even in unmodified form, and it's very predictable to shoot. Whereas uh, some, a lot of people get used to dodging the smaller darts and I've noticed that they have quite a hard time dodging with the uh, Mega Darts as they travel at like a different pace. So I've actually grown quite fond of this blaster and I plan on modifying either this one or maybe picking up another one. But overall it's a very uh, practical blaster I would say. Probably the most practical Mega Blaster. But if you want to try that different ammo type and you have enough ammo to feed it, this is actually pretty fun to use. Uh, the only thing I've really done so far is add like a small sling attachment point for my sort of ghetto sling that I've been using. But uh, yeah, Mega Blaster, actually pretty awesome. Okay, now this guy is extremely unpractical, and a lot of people are probably going to hate me, but I actually love the Thunder Blast. Extremely, extremely, extremely unpractical for HPC, you know, with one shot and two in the back. But the reason I brought this up was because in the game that I particularly usually play in, has uh, a perk that the humans, at the end of each uh, night, the humans can pick up a perk depending on how well you did and, you know, whether everyone gets the most votes, you get, like, a sort of small bonus the next game, or the next, uh, mission. And one of the perks, usually, is Elephant Blaster, which removes a, uh, special, uh, type of zombie, like a tank or something. So if you hit them with the Elephant Blaster, which, uh, in the past few games has been either this or a big bad bow, uh, you can remove that special zombie from the game and they become a normal zombie. So I've actually been, uh, I've gotten to use it quite a few times because I actually really like the Thunder Blast and uh, people know that I like the Thunder Blast. So it's pretty fun. I think it, I got a tank or something the last game. It was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, Thunder Blast. Extremely awesome. If you can hit someone with it, it makes the most depressing thud you've ever heard and you will see a or not depressing, it makes an awesome thud that depresses the zombies because you just took them out with a thunder blast. Okay, now sort of my last like situational blaster, then I'll do some sidearms, and then I'll do some loader blasters. So, uh, the Raider Shotgun Pistol, which is the seven round absolver, uh, what's the name of that blaster? Blazoo, Extreme Blazooka tank inside my Raider shell. Uh, sort of my last one. I have actually, I just have slinged it before. Uh, it's kind of on or off whether I use this. I, I don't really use it that often. It's just kind of funny to shoot seven darts. Good crowd breaker. Uh, that's basically, it's kind of a pain to reload on the fly because you have to twist in the seven darts. So, you know, do that in safe zones and whatnot. But uh, kind of fun just to have, you know, used once in a while, but it's not super practical again. Okay, now going over some of my, you know, secondary sidearm type blasters. My personal favorite is the hammer shot. Uh, I had a modified one that was painted to match my uh, strife and crossbow, but that one was raffled off for my 1k subscribers giveaway. So right now I'm just using these two. Uh, they're both just have air restrictors removed and you know the normal stuff, seal improvement. But uh, not painted yet. Uh, I'm looking to sort of do something special with these ones, maybe like a fire ice one or like a half and half type paint job. Something to spice it up a bit, but you know, for right now, two unmodified or two modified hammer shots with the basic mods. Uh, hammer shot probably the best, just because it doesn't jam. Uh, I see a lot of people, you know, when you're running around, especially if you have it like facing down or something, the strong arms, mavericks, and things of that nature. Sometimes the darts will pop out a bit just because of the air restrictor, and then when you go to shoot it, it'll jam. So that's kind of a problem that you could avoid with hammer shot. One less shot, but you can also get the six and seven round uh, cylinders, which can you know fix that. But basically, uh, hammer shot, in my opinion, is probably the best uh, sidearm pistol for HPZ, just because of its one hand ability, doesn't jam, very reliable. Uh, that's basically everything you could want in a you know last stitch effort pistol.
Okay, so when I'm running a Mega Blaster, sometimes I need a Mega Sidearm, and basically the only thing that's small enough for me to consider a sidearm is the big shock. Uh, you have the Cyclone Shock and, you know, the Magnus, but those things are massive. So, uh, basically, you know, last ditch effort. If you need a big shock to save your life, you're probably donezo anyway. But, you know, it's sometimes good just to have a secondary blaster, just about. Plus, this one fits pretty easily in most uh, pockets and whatnot, uh, whether it be pouches, pockets, whatever. This pretty much fits anywhere. So, okay to have. If, like I said, if it comes down to a big shock between you and getting tagged, you're probably done anyway. But, you know, never hurts to have a second. Okay, this blaster has a bit of a story. I'm sorry that this video is probably quite long, however, uh, people have been asking for it, so it's sort of the only way to make this video, uh, and, you know, do it justice without having a lot of people comment and be like, oh, why do you use this, why do you use that? So, I'm trying to be as elaborate as possible while keeping it short. But basically, this is sort of the coldest maverick, and I did not paint this. This came out of a, uh, my friend buys and sells Nerf blasters, so this was a very sketchy blaster that he got uh, with a lot from Craigslist. So we've been using it to try to see who can get a tag with the Golden Maverick, and then if you get a tag with it, uh, you get to sign the blaster, which is just kind of fun. This is a little fun uh, side thing. HVZ is all about having fun, so you know, it's always about the dumb things like that that I tend to enjoy quite a bit. But basically it's my turn now to try to get a tag with this really, really poorly painted Maverick. There's just splotches everywhere and it looks terrible. But uh, basically I gotta tag someone with it, sign the blaster, and then pass it on to someone else in our squad. If you've watched this far into the video, I feel kind of bad because it's getting pretty long. So here's a super sneak peek at an upcoming project. Ooh, super sneak. Okay, so I'm just going to go over a few loaner blasters and then sort of wrap up the video. Uh, I tend to use things that are pretty easy, you know, that if you're not super experienced with Nerf blasters, you won't jam it and mess it up. Uh, first of which is the Lawbringer that I did. Uh, it's good to have the amount of shots that the Lawbringer, uh, what is it, 10, 12? I forgot offhand. But uh, anyway, the Lawbringer is pretty good because, you know, it's just a simple, you know, prime. Shoot, don't do that because it's air restrictor removed, and uh, it's quite loud, but basically the uh, the blaster itself is quite easy to use, fires pretty well, and then it also has this dark storage in the back, which uh, a lot of people remove, but I kind of like it, because you know when you're running around you can hold a few extra darts, because usually if I'm loading you a blaster you probably don't have quite a loadout, so you probably don't have like pouches or anything to hold extra darts, so good place to hold. Another a uh, good loner blaster is this Elite Alpha Trooper I picked up during the school year. Very easy to use, you know, just you know, pump, shoot. This one hasn't been modified yet, but it makes a good loner, just because, you know, you could throw it to pretty much anyone and be like, okay, you just you know, pump, shoot. It's pretty easy. Also, it has slime fire and it's magazine fed, so it's quite easy to use, you know, you don't have to worry about reloading on the fly, because you could have a few magazines. Uh, things of that nature, very easy blaster to just throw to someone and then help them out of it. Okay, now this guy should have been more in the situational ones, but uh, I've actually tried running a Mag Strike pretty old school, but I actually have three of them. <laughs> so I have three of the uh, little clip things, which is good, because they don't really sell them individually, especially not anymore. You can probably find them on the internet, but it's kind of hard to come by just, you know, the individual clips. But I have three of them, which is nice. Uh, and then, Basically, for those of you who are unfamiliar, you pump it up a bunch, and then it's uh, basically full auto. You can just hold down the trigger, it comes, the clip comes up, and then just shoots the uh, darts out as it comes. You can unload the whole clip in like two seconds, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's just fun for like a uh, slinged off side blaster, you know, good horde buster. Don't really use it too much anymore with the amount of foam you can spray with flywheels, but uh, it's fun just every now and then to bust out something goofy like this just to use. Okay, last loaner blaster is going to be this uh, old school Straven that I made. It's not cosmetically very pretty. It's got some, the epoxy is kind of rough on this and it also has a bit of chipping on the trigger. Uh, and then it doesn't have the orange tip so I have to put like orange tape on it when I use it. But uh, overall it's functionally very solid. Uh, it's just not very pretty because it's taken a few hits just from you know, normal wear and tear, but uh, it does hold the two magazines, which is kind of cool, and then 
uh, I don't have the jam door on it right now, but it it's overall just a very solid blaster. It just doesn't look very pretty. So, you know, if someone's a little more familiar with plywood blasters, I'll throw them this guy, just because it's a very solid blaster overall. The only other tag achieving device that I haven't really mentioned is socks. Uh, you want to have quite a few sock balls on hand. They're easy to toss if you're reloading. In some games like ours, you know, you have things like tanks, which can only be taken down by socks. Uh, things of that nature. Sometimes socks count as special hits. It really depends from game to game. But socks are always good to have, uh, basically, because, you know, you can just toss them. Uh, you don't have to worry about them jamming. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, basically, what I've done here is I've just taken all of the uh, solo socks after laundry and just thrown them in a the bag, so that way... Uh, when HVZ season comes around, I have plenty of socks to work with. I don't have to worry about using any uh, new socks. I just have to... Uh... Plus, these ones were washed already, so that's all an added bonus. You, know, you don't want to throw your used socks at zombies. That's just rude. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I use with a little bit of background as to why I use it. And, you know, maybe in what scenarios I would use it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them. I don't use any melee weapons because our game does not allow them. And uh, the same thing with blowguns, you know, you can't use blowguns. Like I mentioned before, uh, I will probably be doing a video or two on some of the different uh, specific loadouts I like to use, like maybe the mega loadout or like the scout type loadout or things of that nature, you know, holding the point objective type loadout, things of that nature because I usually like vary it slightly depending on what I think the mission will be. And then go from there. But yeah, like I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. If you don't like this video, hit the dislike button. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, that, basically that's about it. Uh, those are pretty much all of the various blast... The air conditioning just turned on. I'm going to have to wait to finish this. This may surprise some people. No, they may... Now this may surprise some people.